Hey there, FPV pilots. It's Smooth Virus, call sign Virus, with another unboxing <clears throat> here in the basement workshop where I don't have a workbench currently, but <laughs> I'm still building lots of things. So, got a couple boxes here. Um, I guess we can go ahead and open these up. So, we have our high tech uh, unidentified knife object from. <laughs> from the junk drawer so let's see so I guess you guys are gonna see here in a minute where this is going I actually got this used uh, I got a nice price on it I got it from Hugo who is from the classified uh, Facebook page that I can't talk about Focusing or not, but it should be. So your typical run cam box, and uh, yeah. So yeah, it's a Night Eagle too. So as some of you have noted, Lauren, <laughs> uh, I'm pretty enamored with night flying, which is kind of funny because I don't get to do it very much. Um, I've done it a few times, maybe a dozen night flights over the years. Um, and I started out with the the PZ0420 cameras, trying to use those for night flying. And I put I had a, a I think it's a, a is it a 2.1 millimeter night lens? Anyway, it's the night lenses. I don't have it here right now, but I have one. And uh, I put that on the camera and try to fly with that. And that. That works okay, but what it does is it really brings out the bright areas, but it doesn't bring out the dark areas as much as you would think that it would. And then I went on to uh, the Runcam Owl Plus, and I was flying around with that, and then I tried the Runcam Owl Plus with the night lens on it. And that actually, if the moon was up, worked pretty well but the night eagle 2 is supposed to be on a different level entirely so let's see oh hey hey it's not used it's brand new it's still sealed <laughs> hugo you rock dude <laughs> this isn't used at all it's brand new oh man i thought it was getting used this isn't used it's still sealed oh man i got i got i got a really good deal on this camera let's open her up now I did check, um, this is the, the, the Runcam Night Eagle 2. There's also a Runcam Night Eagle 2 Pro, but the only difference between the Runcam Night Eagle 2 and the Runcam Night Eagle 2 Pro is that the Pro uh, has the onboard OSD, but it just shows you like a title and a uh, voltage. That's really for the mini quad guys. This is going in a plane and I'm already going to use an OSD in it so I don't need I don't need an on-camera OSD so the night equal two is fine for what I want to do there it is night eagle two okay so what are we going to run this on well I have the big box for Banggood that's going to answer that question so I was looking through some of the more popular FPV platforms, and this is a bit of an older one, but uh, it's well beloved in the fixed wing FPV community, and I've never had one, so I decided it was time to uh, go ahead and get one. So here you go. Most of you already know what this is. This is the uh, FX61 flying wing. So what I figured out was, I can take the electronics out of my old Penguin and it will go right in here. I can use the ESC, the motor, the prop, and I'll reuse my uh, RVOSD autopilot and put that in here. It seems a shame to leave the, all that stuff in the storage unit when I could still be flying it. You know, I, 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 
my Penguin was my first fixed wing FPV platform. And I have dozens and dozens of flights on it, but I haven't flown it in more than a year now, and I'm just kind of bored with it. So I decided that I'd, I'd make something new, and uh, we're going to turn this into a night flyer. I think I'm going to get a pan and tilt and put that up here in the front. And I'm going to see if I can find a way of putting a, my Runcam HD2 in here somewhere. Although, it's going to be less effective at night. But anyway, you know, I already have experience with this. Uh, since I already have a C1 Chaser and I have a... Uh, I have a... A Z84 already. I've already got experience with this plan form. <laughs> um, except that this has more room. So this is going to be my night flying wing cruiser. I'm going to get the aluminum motor mount because I know a lot of people have had problems with the plastic motor mount that comes with this kit shattering on rough landings and stuff. So I'll get the aluminum motor mount and most of the electronics are just going to come out of the Penguin. Um, I do plan on putting some lights. I have some strobes sitting around that I can use on this. So let's let's do a dry fit of it and just to see what this looks like. comes with an instruction manual. Well, that's a nice manual actually. Look at that. Hey. Nice. Okay. All right, so it's a it's a decent sized plane. Yeah. Well, that's gonna be my uh, my Nightwing. All right, everybody. So there's there's Project Nightwing for you. And uh, yeah, I uh, haven't posted a lot of videos because I've been building. <laughs> I've been working on Project BFG, and I want to finish that. I want to finish that, and I want to finish my wing wing before I get started on the before I get started on this guy. Alright everybody, you have a super fine one and we'll see you again soon. Smooth virus out.